Hi students, today I want to explain about the chemical properties. The chemical properties, chemical properties of uh, haloarenes or uh, aryl halides. In this chemical properties, uh, first we will go for the electrophilic, electrophilic substitution reactions here electrophilic substitution reactions in this electrophilic substitution reactions uh, electrophilic substitution reactions here these are also called as electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions Suppose if any halo aryl is taken, for example, I am taking a chlorobenzene. Here, this is a chlorine. Chlorine generally contains a three lone pairs on it, and this is a chlorobenzene. Here, if you are seeing the chlorobenzene, chlorine atom here acts as a minus i and plus m group. Minus i and plus m group. Minus i means it is a electron withdrawing and plus m means electron donating and so this is also called as ring deactivating group ring deactivating group ring deactivating group or it is a minus i group mainly influences the reactivity due to the minus i effect reactivity is less actually so drastic conditions are required and plus m is a indicating about uh, ortho para directing this is ortho para directing group so the directional nature is uh, influenced by the mesomeric effect ortho para directing group so it is orientation orientation of uh, this uh, halogen next coming electrophile is indicated uh, by this cl due to plus m effect so it is a ring deactivating group and ortho para directing group the ring deactivating nature is because of minus i effect and ortho para directing how it is ortho para directing suppose if you are taking this lone pair it is donated to this central atom this carbon atom and so this pair of electron shifts onto this adjacent so i can write a resonance structure for this so see this so here you are getting a partial double bond nature and so two lone pairs and having a positive charge and here this is getting negative charge and here this is a two electron pairs and next this negative charge or the lone pair electron shifts onto this then this pair of electrons are shifting so again we will get another resonance structure by this uh, you will get again Cl plus and having two lone pair and here this is getting a double bond here you will get the negative charge now and this lone pair negative charge will shift on to the adjacent and then this pi bond electron shifts on to this so again you are getting another resonance structure and by this possibility is C double bond Cl having positive charge two lone pairs and pi bond and here pi bond here negative charge and then this negative charge or the lone pair shifts onto the adjacent and this pi bond electron shifts onto this so we will get the normal halobenzene or chlorobenzene structure here chlorine now it has three lone pairs this is three lone pair and pi bond pi bond pi bond okay so this is a normal regular structure okay so this type of resonance structures it is showing because of the electron donating nature or plus m effect of the chlorine and if you see that where we are getting the more electron density on the benzene ring means this is ortho position to chlorine and this is para position to chlorine and this is again ortho position to chlorine so at ortho and para positions see at ortho and para positions para positions at ortho and para position electron density increases electron density increases 
whenever the electron density increases then the electrophilic substitution occurs or electrophile can attacks means for example if you are taking benzene ring and here pi bond pi bond pi bond and here if you are having a chlorine atom on this and uh, now if an electrophile is attacking on this then it can attack at ortho position or it can attack at a para position so that is ortho para directing group the plus m effect is ortho para directing group but because of minus i effect it has a little bit uh, ring deactivating nature so it has less reactivity compared with uh, normal benzene and so we need some vigorous conditions or drastic conditions for performing electrophilic substitution reactions in the electrophilic substitution reactions the first one is halogenation halogenation means reaction of a halogen and here already there is a halogen for example if you have chlorobenzene and in this chlorobenzene reacts with uh, another chlorine or suppose bromine in the presence of uh, al cl3 or in the presence of uh, any fe cl3 or any metal fe lewis acid mainly then they undergoes to halogenation and they gives uh, two products mainly one is ortho bromo chlorobenzene and second one is a para bromo chlorobenzene okay so here which is major means generally para product is always major because it has less repulsions and more stability and second one is a nitration process in the nitration process uh, here vigorous conditions we use the reagent generally used is concentrated h2so4 or we can use fuming sulfuric acid or h2s2o7 oleum is used suppose we are taking chlorobenzene then concentrated h2so4 sorry nitration means uh, concentrated h2so4 plus hno3 mixture that is the nitration mixer and here we are taking hno3 and h2so4 mixture the concentrated hno3 h2so4 mixture then it is giving ortho chloro nitrobenzene or para chloro nitrobenzene here this is a para chloro nitrobenzene formation occurs and the third one is a sulfonation process here sulfonation in the sulfonation process we use a concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated h2so4 or now we can use a fuming sulfuric acid or oleum as a reagent okay then by the sulfonic acid also chlorobenzene suppose we are taking h2so4 plus so3 mixture and then it gives ortho this is called as ortho chloro benzene sulfonic acid or it is giving para chloro benzene sulfonic acid cl and this is so3 h okay ortho chloro and para chloro benzene sulfonic acids are formed the next one is friedel craft f r i d a l friedel craft friedel crafts alkylation friedel crafts alkylation and friedel crafts acylation is taken in the friedel crafts alkylation reaction suppose if you are taking a chlorobenzene it is reacting with an alkyl halide like methyl chloride in the presence of uh, anhydrous alcl3 then it forms a uh, ortho chloro toluene or 
it gives a parachlorotolin parachlorotolin always major product is para product okay and we will get hcl separately and suppose uh, second one is taken that is friedel craft friedel craft acylation friedel craft acylation if you are taking in the friedel craft acylation process here same chlorobenzene is taken the chlorobenzene reacts with acyl chloride CH3COCl acyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3 to give orthochloroacyl benzene orthochloroCoCH3 and parachloroacyl benzene here this is cl and here it is a co and ch3 so the electrophiles in this reaction is ch3 co plus electrophile simply please remember in a first year also they explained electrophile electrophile in this reaction electrophile in this reaction is ch3 c double bond o plus carbon having positive charge here alkyl caused positive charge or alkyl carbocation is the electrophile. All these are electrophilic substitution reactions. If you are taking benzoyl chloride, you will get benzoylation. So, orthochlorobenzoyl, a benzoyl benzene is formed. So, a benzophenone is formed. So, that is the out benzoylation process. Next, reaction with metals. The second type of reactions reaction with metals here in the reaction with the metals the first one if you are taking that is a fitig reaction here fitig reaction means it is like a woods reaction but in woods reaction what we will do Generally, we are taking two moles of alkyl halide Woods reaction. If we are taking two moles of aryl halide C6H5Cl plus 2Na plus Cl C6H5 in the presence of a dry ether, DE means dry ether, then it gives a C6H5 and a C6H5 plus 2NaCl. That is a biphenyl or diphenyl. This is called as biphenyl or diphenyl is formed. This is also called as diphenyl or biphenyl. Okay. And second one is Woods Fittig reaction. So here Woods Fittig. Woods Fittig reaction. Woods reaction means alkyl halide. Fittig reaction means aryl halide. Woods Fittig means uh, one mole of alkyl halide and one mole of aryl halide Cl C6H5 in the presence of a dry ether. One mole of alkyl halide, one mole of aryl halide reacts with sodium to give CH3 C6H5. This is called as toluene. So alkyl benzene is formed plus 2 NaCl is formed. This is called as a Woods Fittig reaction. Okay. And next, third one, it is known as Ullmann reaction. Ullmann reaction. Here, Ullmann reaction means uh, we are taking alkyl iodide, C6H5 iodine. 2 moles of alkyl iodide reacts with copper in the presence of a dry ether to give C6H5 and C6H5 plus CuI. Okay, this CuI is formed or a cupric iodide. CuI2 is taken. This is a Ullmann reaction. If we are using copper, mainly remember. If you are using sodium, it is Fittig reaction. If you are taking copper, it is called as Ullmann reaction.
So this is about electrophilic substitution reactions of uh, haloarenes. So in electrophilic substitution reactions mainly because of minus effect, reactivity is less and reactivity is decreased because of its ring deactivating nature. And because of plus M effect, it is acting as ortho para directing group. So the electrophile will always add it at ortho and para positions. Okay. In next class, uh, we will study about the nucleophilic substitution reactions. Generally, alkyl halides and aryl halides when you compare, alkyl halides undergoes two reactions, nucleophilic substitution reactions very easily. We already saw that uh, SN1, SN2 reactions and uh, SNI reaction or SN, uh, different types of uh, mechanism means uh, rearrangement reactions also. But aryl halides will show these reactions or not. As like alkyl halides, uh, aryl halides will show the nucleophilic substitution reactions or not. We can check in next class.